Um, good afternoon to you, Minister. I will also be supporting the amendment um, to this legislation. The Criminal Justice Enforcement Powers COVID-19 Bill was signed into law by the President on the 11th of September 2020. The date, September the 11th, 9-11, really struck me as somewhat ironic. This country and its people are being ruined, reduced to ground zero, by the incompetence of this government in managing the pandemic with effective policies. Untold damage is being done to the health and wealth of the people of Ireland. Despite the government advocating a live it with pro, uh, COVID uh, approach, they are not allowing people to live. The living with COVID plan is a lie and a fraud on the Irish people. The government has repeatedly singled out the hospitality sector to bear the brunt of restrictions without providing meaningful support to ensure businesses and jobs that were viable pre-lockdown will remain so. The heavy-handed approach of the government is extending lockdown restrictions indefinitely and using the law to threaten people with harsh criminal sanctions must stop. It has not been proven to be proportionate or necessary. We are simply extending the suffering. Nefret have claimed that infections were arising in pubs and restaurants. Can they produce solid empirical evidence and scientific data to support this claim? Can Neffet or the Minister provide data as to how many hospitalisations or ICU admissions or deaths have resulted from people of their own free will making the choice to go to a bar or a restaurant? Where is the evidence? Have we acquired any data from the European Centre of Disease Control and how other countries whose bars and restaurants have remained open? Ironically, this ECDC headquarters is based in Sweden, where they have genuinely chosen to live with COVID. There has been no evidence of the guard they imposing closure orders and any public house or restaurant under these powers to date. So why would the minister wish to extend this order? I have addressed this house previously on the array of draconian emergency powers that have been introduced without any real debate or parliamentary scrutiny. The lack of debate is a real concern and an affront to the people of and the democratic process. These lockdown powers shut down people's lives and their ability to earn a living. The enforcement powers dangle the threat of criminal sanctions over their heads if they do not comply. This is done with the claim of protecting them from a grave and imminent threat to their health. These provisions and questions are due to expire on the 9th of November 2020 and the motion before this House is to extend them until the 9th of June 2021. Where is there hope for this nation with these measures you're taking today? Our leadership in this country has the, has the public support with words like we might have a vaccine or maybe we will have a vaccine in 2021. But words like might or maybe do not give hope for the restoration of our freedoms and liberties. Nor will these words put bread on the table of the millions of people these decisions affect. Nor will these words of might and maybe affect the one million people who are on our hospital waiting lists. I have opposed the extension of the Sunset Clause on other draconian emergency legislative powers on, of a penal nature. I believe that the extension until, until June of this Sunset Clause is a piece of legislation that has not proven to be warranted and I will be supporting the amendment here today. Thank you.